Bert Entwistle was a postman. It was one of the few things everyone knew about him, and one of the few things he was comfortable with people knowing. 64-year-old Albert Entwistle has been a postie in a quiet town in northern England for all his life. Living alone since the death of his mum 18 years ago, he keeps himself to himself. He always has. Because he has a secret. But he's just learned he'll be forced to retire at his next birthday and with no friends and nothing to look forward to the lonely future he faces terrifies him his only hope is going to be telling the truth good day readers and listeners and welcome to this another installment of tom's rapid reviews where each week we take a few minutes to read out a review written by one of our lovely surrey library staff of a book or audio book or ebook that they've read recently, and it's all done in the hope that you might be inspired to try something new this week. So without further ado, let me introduce you to Matt Keynes, The Secret Life of Albert Entwistle. This book was written by Matt Kane and published in 2021, so it's very contemporary. As well as being an author, Kane has worked in television, in the culture sector, and is an LGBTQ plus activist. Let's turn now to our reviewer from Weybridge Library and see what they had to say about the book. A lot of books I read, they say, I choose because of the cover design. Perhaps not the best way to choose reading material, but it usually works well for me. The Secret Life of Albert Entwistle had been reserved by one of our lovely library users and I requested my own copy for the colourful cover design. But having read recent reviews, I was also quite excited to read the book. This book is about Albert, who is a quiet, solitary postman living in the north of England and heading towards retirement age. He lives with regret about the course of his life and the grief of lost opportunities. The story drew me in and I could feel and sympathise with his painful experience. But ultimately the book is, although tinged with sadness, about his journey back to himself. Through revisiting his past and the people he meets along the way towards his future. As a child of the 1960s, growing throughout the 70s and 80s, I would highly recommend this atmospheric and sensitive book as a reminder of how far we've come even if we still have a way to go, regarding acceptance and understanding of personal freedoms and choices since that time. So, based on that staff member's review, Tom's Rapid Reviews is going to give this book 4.5 out of 5. If Albert Entwistle piques your interest, or if you've read it and fancy more, then there are a couple of other recommendations I'd like to make. Matt Cain has three other novels to his name you might like to try, most famous of which is called The Madonna of Bolton. Alternatively, you can check out Surrey Library's curated collection of LGBTQ plus books known as Outlit. Go to Google and search for Surrey Library's Outlit or ask in a branch for them to search it for you or give you a flyer. That's all from us though this week. I hope you feel inspired to search out some inclusive literature. If you've enjoyed this instalment, please do comment and subscribe. For now though, stay safe, borrow books, and join us again next time for another of Tom's Rapid Reviews. Mm -hmm.